So, NDI, Network Device Interface, is a technology that makes it easy to send and receive multiple channels of broadcast quality, low latency video over an existing gigabit Ethernet network. So think of it this way, file sharing has been possible for decades now over a local network. You can send and receive files, you can send something over to a printer, so why not with live video? And that is essentially what NDI is all about. And NDI does it in a way that is perfectly suited for live production and streaming applications like vMix. So we get asked about NDI a lot, as you know, there's a lot of excitement about it, and people are asking, well, what can it do specifically for vMix? First of all, it can receive multiple channels of video and audio from any NDI compatible device or PC on the network in SD, HD, or 4K and everything in between. So any device on the network that supports NDI and can send video and audio in NDI, vMix can receive it, just like it would with a camera input. So with audio and video in sync together, live, low latency, so it arrives pretty much exactly uh, only within a few milliseconds after it was sent. Low latency, great for live use. So any device or thing on the network, it can receive. It's as easy as going to add input and selecting the NDI tab and you'll see all the sources available on the network. Just like when you're browsing your network on your PC, you'll see computers that you can access files from. In vMix now you can see all the computers that have, or devices that have live video. So uh, that's the first feature. You can receive any NDI source. And including cameras and devices, you can also receive from other PCs. Things like graphics generating programs, there's a whole bunch of them that are going to be coming out at NAB. There's even a few that have been released just in the past couple of days. Uh, software that generates titles, animations, with full alpha channel support. So using something like Casper CG on another computer, if you know about that software, it, will su it supports NDI now, and you can do alpha channel, and you can bring that all into vMix. Don't need to worry about separate inputs and key and fill. It's just a single source that has alpha channel, so it's really easy to use. Um, so that's what you can receive. And the final thing that you can receive is desktop capture. So we'll be releasing a piece of software for both the Mac and the PC called vMix Desktop Capture for NDI. And this captures the desktop and audio on Macs and PCs, and it also captures games. So this is pretty unique and hasn't been possible before. If you have that vMix Desktop Capture application on a PC, uh, running a video games, you know, we demoed this last month using Rocket League. It will capture that, send it over the network via NDI, and you'll be able to easily capture it into vMix at full frame rate. So that's the input side of things. The second major feature of NDI that vMix supports is sending out. So the output of vMix can be sent using NDI um, and including to another computer running vMix. So you could have a laptop running vMix and doing graphics. You could send that out with Alpha Channel to the main production PC running vMix using NDI. So sharing the output is that second feature. If you've got vMix 4K or Pro editions, you can also uh, send a secondary output over the network using NDI. Say you want to send the preview output, maybe you want to send the entire multi-view. You can do all of that using the vMix 4K and Pro features in addition to the main output over NDI. So that's not all. I mean, I, I'm, it's like I'm doing a sales pitch, but there's a whole lot more you can do with NDI. You can receive, you can send the output. You can also send any camera you've added to vMix using NDI. So say you've got a, a capture card installed, a USB dongle or anything like that, webcam even, add them into vMix and then you'll also be able to see them from any other computer on the network and add them that way as well. So you can share one camera across multiple systems running NDI, and they don't have to be running vMix. It can connect to any NDI system out there. Uh, in addition to camera inputs, you can also share audio inputs in vMix. So you add an ASIO audio source into vMix, then you can also share that to any other NDI system on the network. Um, and finally, the four audio buses in vMix, which consist of master, uh, headphones, A and B, can be sent via NDI as well. So you can do a full audio mix using ASIO sources or audio sources or sound cards, and then you can receive that in full 
perfect quality, no compression on the audio over at the, any NDI source, including things such as TriCasters or other copies of vMix. So pretty much anything you can think of can be shared in some way using vMix via NDI in addition to be able to receive pretty much anything. If it says it supports NDI, vMix will have some way of connecting to it. So that's the, the amazing thing about NDI. It's an open technology, it's been pioneered by new tech, and it's available to anybody who wants to produce software. And finally, uh, another feature in, in a third party company out there has just announced support for some software that can turn your camera and your iPhone into an NDI source. So we've been asked that a lot lately, how they can bring in an iPhone as a video source into vMix. Well, very soon you'll be able to download a, um, some software from the App Store from a, a company called Sienna um, that are making a bunch of tools for NDI, including the ability to bring in um, iPhone cameras. So another question people are asking us about NDI is what are the system requirements? What do I need to be able to use NDI and vMix? Well, all you need is a uh, vMix 17, obviously, or higher, and any Intel or AMD processor on the system that supports SSE 3 or higher. So this pretty much includes all Intel i5 and i7 processors released since around 2005. So pretty much if you've bought your computer since 2005 in the last decade, chances are it supports NDI. It's just a matter of then of how many sources that you can bring in at the same time. And that really just depends on the CPU resources you have available to you. If you've got a high end four gigahertz or even 3.5 gigahertz four core processor, then you can bring in at least four NDI sources in full HD into vMix without using up too much CPU. But with everything, the simple CPU rule applies. If you're using more than 70%, that's probably a bit too much. So you can add as many sources, set up recordings, set up streams, up to 70% CPU usage, and you're gonna have good results throughout your live production. Um, and a couple of other Q&A questions that people commonly ask us about NDI. Does NDI work over Wi-Fi? The answer is, Kind of. <laughs> to explain that, NDI uh, is really designed to be used over a gigabit Ethernet network for low latency, smooth, high quality HD and even 4K sources. So if you have a couple of sources that are connected over Wi-Fi, you will be able to receive them in vMix. It's just a matter of how smooth the video will be. If you've got one of the latest high quality Wi-Fi networks that does 100 megabit plus, and reliably, then you'll at least be able to bring in one full quality HD source using Wi-Fi. So that might be handy if you have a couple of iPhone cameras you want to send in. Maybe they're sending 720p with that app I mentioned earlier, that you'll probably be able to do a couple of those on a good quality Wi-Fi uh, N-enabled network, or A, uh, the two major new standards for high bandwidth. Uh, Wi-Fi A or N, 802.11A or N, for those that, that know about the different versions of the wireless standards. And, you know, as I mentioned before, vMix Desktop Capture for NDI is a separate application to capture games and applications from both Mac and PC. It will be released to our website very soon and you'll be able to use it with other NDI compatible systems. It's a desktop capture version, freely available. You can not only bring those desktops into vMix, you can bring them into any NDI compatible system, including something like the TriCaster. So we believe it'll be the only product out there that'll be able to capture games and full screens on the desktop capture uh, on Windows. Uh, so you'll be able to get a hold of that for free and use it with any NDI production. So that's also a cool add-on we're providing um, to the NDI community free of charge. So finally, the final question we get asked is which editions of vMix support NDI? And their answer is all of them. So if you don't know, we have a free version, which is in SD called Basic, which can bring in two SD cameras. Then we have Basic HD that can bring in three HD cameras for total. NDI is treated as a camera. So if you've got the SD version, you can bring in two NDI cameras in SD. Uh, if you have the basic HD, you can bring up to three HD camera NDI sources in HD. Uh, if you have any of the other versions, then it's unlimited, only up to the maximum amount of performance available on the PC. Um, so 
it's it's shared with the cameras as well. So the basic HD supports three cameras. You could have one physically attached webcam and two NDI sources, and you can do all of that in the basic HD. So NDI is available in all versions. It's just a matter of uh, what it features are currently available also apply to NDI. So if you have the 4K version, you can do two NDI outputs, just like you could do two external outputs in 4K version in previous editions. So that is a brief run over, run, run through of what NDI does and how it all works. So I hope that's helpful to everybody.